Thanks for tuning in to Sweet Talk with Taylor. In this session, I'm going to show you how you can quickly create a schedule from an estimate and how information transitions between the two files. Here we have an estimate complete with estimated values, resources, and notes. If we would like to generate a schedule using this estimate framework so that all of our hard work creating this estimate can help us with other aspects of the program, we can easily do so by clicking the Create New Schedule icon on the File toolbar. When we click this, as you can see, the option is selected for us to add this estimate framework to a new schedule. By default, what this means is that our categories will become scheduled groups, planning, foundation, and framing, and our subcategories, things like design services, permits, lot costs, etc., will become scheduled tasks. Now, if we would like to include our item level of detail in the schedule as tasks, we can certainly do that as well by selecting the Include Items in the Schedule option at the bottom. But, depending on how you set up your estimates, you'll likely not be scheduling for things like 2x4s or anchor bolts, uh, so we're going to leave those off this time. The schedule will also only be populated with subcategories or categories that contribute to your project total. This means that options, pending change orders, or any estimate subcategories with no value will not be populated on the schedule by default. However, you can see here that we do have the option to include these subcategories if we would like, those with no estimated value, those for options and non-accepted change orders. Uh, so if you do want to include those as well as the overhead margin prorated throughout those dollar values, you have that ability as well. Once we've selected our preferences, I'm just going to leave it exactly as is with the default, we can select OK and Construction Suite will create our new schedule. As you can see, the schedule will contain the dollar values from the estimate associated with each task over here in the Gantt chart. If you would like to show this information in the task view as well, you can easily do so by right-clicking on any of these column headers to bring up the additional column options, where we can then scroll down to the estimate section and select to show the total estimate values in the column view. This is valuable if you're interested in generating reports such as a cash flow report from the schedule which will give you your projected income over time based on the estimated value and schedule duration of your tasks. Now also if we come in here and right click on our column headers and decide to show the resource column, you can see that our resources from the estimate have also populated in the schedule so that we can generate reports such as a scheduling conflict report or work orders from the schedule. Once you have the schedule created from the estimate with all this information in place, you may want to add or change information in the estimate that needs to be reflected in the schedule. You can do this by accessing the Sync with the Schedule option here in the estimate on the top toolbar. As you can see, you can select the schedule you would like to sync with. In this case, we're going to do the one that we just created. And once we do that, you can sync the current estimate information, such as the cost information. Uh, you can send the schedule information back to the estimate as well. And you can also sync any new resources or changed resources between the estimate and schedule and choose which file has priority. Once we sync, we can now show additional columns in the estimate for our schedule information simply by right clicking, going to show or hide columns. And then at the bottom of this, you'll see that we have an entire section designated to the schedule information. So if we choose to show this, you can see that we can now show values for the start date, end date, duration, and percent complete of all of these scheduled tasks. The important thing to take note of when syncing, however, is that information is transferred between the two files by matching up the names and the hierarchy of the estimate categories with the names and the hierarchy of the scheduled tasks. Therefore, if you want to sync a schedule and an estimate, you'll have to make sure that you either create the schedule in the same format as the estimate, or simply create the schedule from the estimate as we have just done and Construction Suite will make sure that the format's correct for you. You can also reverse the process and create an estimate from a schedule by clicking on the new estimate icon in the file toolbar in the schedule. With this powerful transfer of information, Construction Suite can do in seconds what may take you hours to do by hand, saving you valuable time and once again eliminating any unnecessary data entry for information that we've already stored. Thanks for tuning in to Sweet Talk.